the name We're not afraid to hit that play To protect his legacy from his ex-wife We speak out for real Hello friends, this is a Rare with Photos There's been a lot of great comments lately And uh, like I said, this is one of my favorite times during the day Sometimes I actually get a chance to put out a couple of these videos But normally it's only one a day So let's get started uh, well, first, thanks for, for being on here. Also, thanks for those who've left me those super thanks. Does it a little donation you can leave by hitting the thanks button. Um, thank you to the members that are out there. Uh, you guys are amazing, truly amazing uh, as well. And all you subscribers that come on here and watch all the videos. Watch them to the very end and then leave great comments. Like uh, Kimberly Van Meter said, I'm enjoying this book. Don't know yet if I believe uh, that Desiree is Elvis's, but it is a good book. Um... And I appreciate your comment there. Appreciate the skepticism and also the open-mindedness. So we're continuing to read the book. Uh, there's a lot more to go. So we'll see. You know, I mean, I'm uh, I'm on the fence, but more believing than not. Uh, I believe that it is all a possibility uh, because of the time frames and because of what I know about being an artist. Hey, Vicky. Uh, also on Elvis and Lucy traveling to Shreveport. Lucy confides in Elvis. You said, again, I'm going to wait until the end of the book to make my mind up. Did Desiree just happen to call you, or was she prompted by Derry? Well, actually, neither. But uh, I want to say, maybe when I did the very first video, I reached out to her and let her know I was doing a, a, a series on on her mother and her. Um, and then she just happened to get back with me uh, the other day. I think she might have reached out to Derry, and uh, Derry probably said, hey, you know, I had a great conversation. In fact, she must have, because she watched the interview uh, with Derry. Um but regardless, I think she might have reached out to Derry. I don't think Derry reached out to her. Um, Sharon, and then once again, I, I messaged her. I don't maybe a month ago, and it took her took her a month to respond back to me. And I, I responded to her again, and I haven't heard back. So it's not like she's begging to come on here and be interviewed. I think she's very private. And um, if she is uh, does come on, that'd be great. Hey, Sharon. Yes, I agree. Uh, yes, it does. I agree with you. It does provide more evidence. I'm glad you're reading this because I've got cataracts in both eyes. Sorry to hear that. That's that's difficult so it helps uh but i still want to get the book um yeah there's nothing there's nothing better now some people like to actually listen to audiobooks or have somebody read to them and then there's some people that like having it in their hands so and then some people don't mind both i know when i'm driving down the road that's the best time desiree looks like elvis you know she uh she certainly has um a look now here's the other thing and there may be a comment later on as well and i, I hope i'm not spoiling your comment but somebody made an, uh, a comment about dna tests and about both lucy and elvis having bright blue eyes and both and, and the daughter desiree had brown or has brown um that's not how it works you don't always have the same color eyes as your parents um I mean, DNA-wise. So I get your skepticism skepticism on that, but uh, that's not how it works all the time. Uh, Sandra, Sandra Lynn, maybe Sandra L Y Brand, ninety four twenty five. Hey Joe, I'm enjoying your page so much, and looking forward to what you you're going to read and your thoughts and things regarding Elvis. Uh, there's a nurse that lives on the property that lived on the property and took care of Elvis. Yes, there was. You're right. She has some great stories to tell. I really want to get her book. It's called Taking Care of Elvis by Tish Henley Kirk. She has more intimate stories of her time with Elvis and funny stories. She didn't let him get by with things, and he loved that about her. She worked for Dr. Nick and met him years earlier when Dr. Nick treated him for saddle sores at the ranch, and Elvis asked him to stop in and check on his mother Gladys. Now, the ranch was after Gladys passed, so I do know that Elvis rode horses prior to having this the circle g ranch so maybe that's what you're talking about uh gladys had heart problems but dr nick found out that she had pneumonia when he checked on her when elvis made his first visit to dr nick's office tish had to ask basic questions before he'd see the doctor he would look down at the floor when he spoke to her she lifted his head and said when you talk to me look at me later that day she was called into dr nick's office and thought she was going to get fired instead dr nick asked her what she said to elvis well she told him and just knew that she was fired well instead Elvis was very impressed with her. She tells how sneaky Elvis was to get her to come to work for him years later after she kept telling him no. Well, she lived in the property and took care of him full time, and she has some comical stories of Elvis's humor. I think you'd get an interview with her because she did another one on an Elvis channel last year. 
Uh, the book is only $35, and you can order it from Tish yourself. Send a money order to, and then she says the address there. Um, yeah, that's a, that sounds like a cool book. I, I, I've heard about that book, um, and I will probably order it and read it because uh, that's another person that was around Elvis, maybe a, a look into Elvis that perhaps not everybody has seen. That's kind of what we're doing with Elvis and Kathy and potentially what we're doing with How Are You Lonesome Tonight. So I appreciate that. That's a great comment. Uh, and some great information there. Um, so on the uh, the Elvis and Lucy traveling to Shreveport, Lucy confides in Elvis. There's another comment that's rolling up here. Hey, Marta. So Marta Arroyo Herrero. Um, I have to hit the translate on, on Marta. I believe she's from South America or Spain or something. I do believe it. I believe that this lady is a mysterious woman that Elvis truly fell in love with. And that one that no one knew. Everyone knew their girlfriends, and obviously Prissy, not Lucy. Marta, it's good to see you on here. Um, you know, you, you've left a lot of comments in the past. Kate says, please try very hard to get an interview with Desiree, smiley face. I will. I will. Um, and I'm going to show her your comments, so maybe that'll make her uh, want to come on the channel. Um, on, the, on the My Army Days with Elvis, one of my favorite books by Johnny Lang, more funny and sweet stories about Elvis. Uh, Flora Braswell says... Joe, has Lamar ever said anything about Lucy or Red and Sunny? Because she mentioned them, but they are past now. Now, I don't know whether she mentioned them or not, because once again, I'm, uh, I'm not to that point in the book. <laughs> I heard Elvis say one day he came out as sergeant, then I heard him say corporal another time. I guess it was sergeant. Uh, Joe, you need to listen to Billy Stanley. Give his voice, give his voice about his stepbrother, Elvis Presley. Uh, he also has a couple books out. Now, I've got that, The Faith of Elvis, a story only a brother can tell by Billy Stanley, and, uh, and I plan on reading that. Um, we can deduce what we feel is accurate and not, and, of course, Billy has his own story. Billy has his own truth like everybody has their, their own truths. Uh, don't know his channel name, but just put in Billy Stanley. Okay, so I think Billy gives insightful and interesting voices about Elvis. Thank you, Joe, and thank you for reading all the books. My eyesight's not the best, and I like your Elvis voice. Well, I appreciate that. Uh, you know, I, I love I love Elvis Presley just like y'all. Um, it's funny. I I, I can kind of do it a little bit better when I'm not reading somebody else's words. But uh, that being said, a little better doesn't mean Elvis. Elvis had a phenomenal voice, wonderful speaking voice. Um, so I can't wait for you to get back to them. Sometimes I wonder if Kathy would have been Elvis's pick. I know she wasn't the most beautiful of all women, but a pretty face isn't everything. Maybe Elvis found other things about her that, that drew him in. He did. Elvis loved to share his faith, and he loved people's minds. Uh, so clo listen closely to what Billy Stanley says at the very end of one of his interviews. So thank you for that comment. That's, that is a wonderful comment, and um, I will. I think that um, there's a lot of... Um, a lot of ideas about Billy Stanley, David Stanley, Ricky Stanley, those three. Um, kind of, you know, they were there a lot from the time when they were very little to some to the very end. Um, and there's a lot of uh, a lot of anger a, a bit at one of the Stanley brothers. I mean, but anyways, let's go back to the EP uh, fan forever. What's going on on the Elvis and Lucy, the Donahue sh Don uh, Phil Donahue show? I'm leaning towards believing this. The things she said and didn't say to protect Elvis makes me believe her even more. Because I know I would have done the same thing for my husband and or children. Uh, when you have that kind of love, you will sacrifice everything for your loved ones, for what you think is best for them. That's a great comment, and that is the truth. That is really a, a real definition of love. Hey, Linda, I believe Lucy. It's good to know someone actually loved Elvis and not just the money. He was so lovable, I can't see how there wouldn't be more real love stories in his life. I've loved him since I was 12, and I'm going to be 80 this week. I will take that love to my grave. He is family to me. Wonderful comment there. Hey, Sandy, in my opinion, you say Priscilla is the worst thing that ever happened to Elvis. You know, I mean, I don't think that she improved his life. I just don't see it. I see that his movies got worse and worse when she came into his life, as in moved to Memphis. Um, you know, he did have the comeback special, but that was more born out of not certainly wasn't Priscilla that did it. I mean, that producer really got Elvis to thinking, and and Elvis changed uh, changed what it was going to be about, and he stood up to the colonel. Hey, Maggie, you said watch to the end. Thank you for reading this very sad story. Thanks, Maggie. Tune in for the next one. I mean, it's. I hope that there's a lot of happiness to go with the sadness, because uh, what a crazy, 
Uh, what a crazy experience she had to go through. Uh, Gina D said, did she meet him when he was in the army? Uh, nope. I don't, well, I don't know. I'm not there yet. This is the first time I heard of this. Poor girl. Why didn't she ever tell Elvis if she thought it was his? What a tragedy in life. I blame her parents for allowing this at her age to marry so young. Her dad died and they burned the house down and she was taken under by the grandma who didn't like her. So that's in the, that's in the first part of this book. Just click on Rare Elvis Photos, go to the playlist and go to the Are You Lonesome Tonight and read from the beginning. Um, yeah, 11 years old. Crazy. EP fan forever. Well, there goes the Elvis that said he drew the line with married women. Could it be that this was why? Well, maybe. Um, possibly. Uh, it also could have possibly been an excuse that he gave to Priscilla because he didn't want to, like, bring up the fact that he knew that she was cheating on him. Could be. That's what I've always thought because he had a, an affair, supposedly, with Susan. Uh, what's her name? From the 68 Comeback Special, Henley, Hen I forgot her last name. And she had a child. Here's the thing, aside from Elvis, from Priscilla, how many women who were mothers did Elvis get intimate with? To my knowledge, the answer is zero. It's a well-known fact that Elvis did not find women with children attractive in that way. This is one of the many reasons he preferred younger women. Why would Lucy be any different? She had two children when they met and three later on. I just can't see Elvis being attracted to her when he struggled to be intimate with his own wife after she gave birth to Lisa Marie. Would Elvis have helped Lucy? Absolutely. Would he have maintained a relationship with her for decades? Not a chance, but I do feel sincerely sorry for the trauma she endured in her life. That's a well thought out comment. That being said, maybe, once again, I think it was an excuse he gave to Priscilla because he didn't want to, he didn't want to have to deal with the fact that she'd been having affairs on him. And so he made it about her being a mother. Uh, later on, of course, there's another woman um, that was part of a twin. And I've my brain's not working right now because I don't really, I don't really uh, think about her much. But she supposedly got pregnant, had an abortion, and because Elvis said he didn't find Priscilla attractive as a mother. Once again, he might have just used that as an excuse to save face about her having an affair. It doesn't necessarily have to mean it's true. Um, so Sharon said, so are you actually going to be interviewing Desiree? That would be awesome. Well, you know, I hope so. You know, I want her to be comfortable and I want her to be able to... I want her to do it, uh, to, to want to do it and share what her story is. And, of course, that's really what the interview is probably going to be like is what, what it was like growing up, what um, drew her to reach out to this author, um, you know, whether one of her friends or her relationship said you should do it, you should tell somebody about it. Uh, and then, you know, of course, what it was like growing up, you know, without a, without a father, maybe having Elvis call all the time. And then on top of it, you know, another one of the questions I'd love to ask her, you know, is, you know, is the effect that all the disbelief and the shadows of doubt that got thrown on her book had on her and had on her mom. Um, you know, there's, she, I'm sure she's had a very interesting life because from what Derry said, I mean, she's with the, she was with the Julio Iglesias camp. Uh, I believe it was the doctor's son she was dating. So we'll find out about that. I mean, I'm sure she has an interesting story to tell. Uh, Daffy said, I would like to know why they haven't had a DNA test. Until then, I won't believe. Both Elvis and Lucy had very bright blue eyes and the daughters are brown. Yeah, it doesn't always work out like that. I think that I talked about that. Um, blue and blue doesn't always create blue. Now, most of the time it is true. Blue-eyed parents to have blue-eyed children. But sometimes the DNA genes can skip generations. It's crazy how it works. Um... But anyways, I appreciate uh, your idea and your thought on that as well and your opinion. User Lynn Girl. Hey, what's up? Or Lyanna Girl. Um, or I don't know if that's an L or a Y. I have to apologize. Thanks, awesome books. Thanks for reading these books. We'll always watch until the end. That'd be awesome if you get an interview with her. Well, you know what? I'm glad that y'all are excited. I'm, I'm hoping that she wants to do an interview for the channel and for y'all. Um, I will let you know soon. I'm, I'm continuing to kind of converse with her, so... Um, we'll see what she says. I'll send her some screenshots, and maybe she'll want to come on. So appreciate that that comment there. Well, I'm going to play some music here, some uh, tri some tribute Elvis music uh, for y'all. So uh, and it'll be available soon on Rare Elvis Photos, uh, Songs of Elvis, The Sins Country on Apple Music. He walked on stage with a smile, made our dreams come true for a while. Get tall and hand moving wild 
Every spring made him feel alive. Shook his hips, people would sigh. If I can dream, he touched the sky. Jailhouse rocking all night long to the rhythm of a rock and roll song. Elvis gave his life for his fans. Because rock and roll made him whole He is where music ended and began Elvis gave his life for his fans Long nights on the road Legends told, stories unfold From Graceland to the crowd He played every song loud and proud Elvis gave his life for his fans Of his soul because rock and roll made him whole. Here's where music ended and began. Elvis gave his life for his fans. He shined like the brightest star. Love for that music took him far. Echoes of his voice still live on. In every one of his songs Elvis gave his life for his fans Sang his heart out right to the end Every note he gave a piece of his soul Because rock and roll made him whole Here's where music ended and began Feel the rhythm come alive My heart beats to every Elvis song On my turntable I turn on Hound dog echoes in my veins Jailhouse rocking through the years We're all the part of him that red remains As we wipe away our tears We say thank you to the mailman Say our grace and our amen Live our life in God we trust, yeah Elvis is alive in all of us Feel the tremor in the night Guitar strings start to hum And the stars up there so big and bright As Elvis starts to strong We say thank you to the mailman Say our grace and our amens Live our life in God we trust, yeah Elvis is alive in all of us Most a blue moon in the sky Can't help falling but don't wonder why Elvis' spirit never dies in our soul For all our lives we say thank you to the mailman Say our grace and our amens Live our life in God we trust Yeah, Elvis is alive in all of us Yeah, Elvis is alive in all of us Couple more comments Hey Teresa, still don't know if it's true But it's so sad, makes me love Elvis more 
Uh, Lynn Chris says, who's Lucy? Haven't watched this yet, but who's Lucy? We'll watch it later. Uh, yeah, definitely watch it. Click on Rarest Photos, click on the playlist, and you'll find the Are You Lonesome Tonight series that we're on. I believe we're on the fourth or fifth reading, um, and we're going to be doing it more later on today, I think, because it's a great story that we got to get to. TCB, TLC, this is Rarest Photos.